Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock Resurrection. Now, Resurrection marks the beginning of Season 2 of the Battlestar Galactica Deadlock RTS game. Uh, season 1 was uh, multiple DLC involving the rise and then fall of the Colonial Fleet and the incursion of Cylons into Caprica space. Many changes have come with Battlestar Galactica Deadlock Resurrection. A little bit of a mouthful there. And uh, that's all around the control of how you control your fleet. Before we were in the Daedalus, which was, as we know it, for people who watched the Ron Moore reimagination of Battlestar Galactica, the Ragnar Outpost, that was a mobile command center. Now, in this iteration of Battlestar Galactica Deadlock, uh, the CIC of the Galactica is where all the commands take place. And throughout the entire series, all command um, and command decisions took place within that CIC. Now, Galactica CIC is a fairly circular type room located deep in the interior of the Battlestar, uh, where the main hull meets the midsection of the ship. From the CIC, the Battlestar's tactical navigation and operations are monitored and directed by the commander, and we all know our favorite commander, Commander Adama. Now, Black Lab and Slytherin Games have done a very good job of recreating a version of the CIC. Now, Ships evolve over time. This is the Mark II Jupiter, and what we saw in Blood and Chrome, for example, in some of the screenshots we saw earlier on, as to what we saw in the Adama era of Battlestar Galactica, there were definitely some changes and configuration around the stations and control of the Battlestar. Uh, and that's kind of reflected here. It's close, it's very close, but you look at it and you think, mm, that wasn't quite what I saw on the TV show. Either way, you know, you've got, you got artistic license, I suppose, really. Things are going to evolve as well as the game continues, as technology moves on. As you look around the CIC, you can see the very familiar tables and map boards, um, you know, for, for navigation. We've got manuals that unfortunately are just, are just props at this stage. Uh, they're flight operation manuals. You've got operating procedures in the quintessential Battlestar Galactica format with the corners cut off. And those are posted around the different stations, giving the crew members information on what they're meant to be doing in those crew locations. It is unfortunate, I suppose, however, that there's no actual crew at the stations, even with a little bit of a hub hub if you're there to go around and um, when you're doing all your navigation and your battle and your strategy. That would be quite good to have people just milling around, even though your main focus is gonna be at the table. It's just you in the CIC controlling things of the Battlestar uh, and the Battlestar Galactica fleets. Perhaps a little bit of a missed opportunity, still good. Battlestar Galactica fanboys and girls are gonna love this simply because, you know, it is again another reimagination of, of Battlestar Galactica that you can walk around and immerse yourself into. So as we said, the command and control station is the primary station within the CIC used by the commanding and executive officers. That's Adama and you can see it right in front of you, Adama and Ty and whoever else tends to float around that one particular area looking important. Hanging from the top as well, we've got the Dreyder's console where, you know, the Cylon, um, Aaron Doral, uh, put the Cylon tracker in. All that's there. Screens are littered around the CIC as well, showing Dreyder's and battle damage and other information, you know, that you're not quite privy to. And you can see through the glass doors that it just swung past on the, the screen there. There's the main damage control area. And you've got to think, and you've got to think of the orientation of where things are. Where does Adama and Ty stand? Do they stand to the left? Do they stand to the right? Where do they stand? I think they generally stand here. And you can see the CIC phone there for, you know, um, Galactica Actual right in the center console. There's one either side. People can control um, communications on a personal basis without shouting across the entire CIC. We can see the control areas where you actually drive the ship. Um, two stations there with the throttle, pitch and yaw as well. Again, looking from this angle, you can see other maps that you might not have been privy to seeing within Battlestar Galactica, the TV series. But it's very dark, it's very sullen, you know, it, it gives that sort of moody, I'm in command sort of um, aspect, especially what you see for normal naval vessels as well, where you know, it's all down to the focus on the screen and not to be distracted by any other stimulation. 
In the center, we've got the main command and control console, as I mentioned. This is where, within the game, you're going to control your units, access all the um, fleets that you build, and move on to different missions, stories, and resource missions. Great imagination of the crest atop of each side of the doors, and you, you can tell they've looked at all the archive footage to recreate this. Just a shame there's not some people wandering around and people at stations. I think that would have been a really good feature. Again, up against the walls, you've got more flat screen monitors as well in metal frames. And it's a shame as well you can't move around the back areas of the CIC. You really are kind of restricted to moving to the front and back areas of this particular iteration. Now that might change in different DLC. But let's take a look at the command and control console as well. Again, this is why I mentioned you're going to select all your units, jump them to different planets, jump them into missions, and all that sort of thing. All that is really good stuff. And quite familiar to what we've seen from other iterations of Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. It's a very cut down version um, of command as to where we saw in the Daedalus. You had the maps of the colonies. At the moment, we've got several um, planets that we've had open up to us in Helios Beta, where we've actually got our fleets as well. Uh, in the middle, we've got our main missions. So you can see the three, that's a resource mission. Clicking on build ships, well, guess what? You can build ships there, whether it be Battlestar, Jupiter 2s, original Battlestars, you know, the other carriers and Battlestars that are made available, you frigates and whatnot. Also, you can then recruit and manipulate the officers that you've got from the officers section and adjust their skill set with requisition points as well. Now, with our very junior officer we've got here selected, we've just recruited him. He's not really experienced enough and doesn't have any multipliers to add to him. But if we look at our main Battlestar BSG commander, Silas Nash, he has an awful lot of um, experience, command experience, you know, and, and that adds to all the, the bonuses you get in battle. So, looking at strategy, that zooms you straight to the middle and the command and control station, whereas home takes you to the doorway. So a nice little area where you can just flip back and forth really quickly. Again, looking at blueprints, this allows you to buy new blueprints with requisition points, but also lets you look at all the statistics as well to the different ships that you've actually got in and how you can build your fleets. And here we've got the new reimagined Jupiter II Battlestar in all its glory. Look at its stats, compare which ship is really good for you. Now in the top right hand corner again, you've got the Cylon Threat Indicator. Um, in addition to all of this as well, you've got all the additions that were brought in by previous DLC, like Veterancy and Radio Chatter, and you'll be able to change some music when you're in game as well. Now, there you have it. That's a quick look around the Battlestar Galactica CIC from Battlestar Galactica Deadlock Season 2 Resurrection, reimagined by Slytherin and Black Lab Games. So far, I've been playing some of this. This is a press release, which is out during towards the end of the month. As a result of which, you know, I'm going to be putting some videos up to orientate people and followers of my channel as well. If you haven't already done any subscribing to my channel and you would like to, a subscribe and a like goes a hell of a long way. If you like what you're seeing so far, that's great. Hit the like and subscribe button. And also, if you want to hit that notification icon as well, that'll let you know when I'm putting more Battlestar Galactica Deadlock videos on YouTube. I've been Ricardo, this has been at Look Around the CIC, hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon.